everyone, it's Amy from Now Polish Baby 90 and welcome to today's video. Today I put on some makeup which led to more makeup which led to all of the makeup plus lips that I never ever do. Uh, my mini me is here with me today in the video, she's literally just here, so you may hear a three year old rambling. We are here today with to do a swatch and review on the classic leathers collection from Zoya, which was their sec second offering for um, a 2020 for autumn. I love this aesthetic. You may have noticed that I've got some stuff behind me, so I'm in the process of doing de-stash filming and sorting. So I think what I'm gonna do actually is put this leathers box will be up here because I just love the way this looks. I really enjoy it. So there's six cream finish polishes to show you and let's get into it. Inside the box itself, we obviously have the leathers and there they are. I think when they first came out, there was some thought over because it said leathers, whether they were gonna be some sort of textured finish or similar to when OPI did the leather look before, whether it would be something like that, but they are just all cream finishes um, and perfect for autumn. I do have the descriptions. I didn't have them for the last collection, but I have them for this collection. So it should make it a lot easier easier for us all and let's get stuck into these six creams. The first one is called Gidget and Gidget is kind of what when you look at it the yellow of the collection however Zoya described this as a rustic orange mustard with beige undertones so it's definitely a really big mixture of yellow and orange and brown and neutral all kind of rolled up into one polish. I did really like this and overall the whole collection is really nice because you're getting oh hello so many different tones all in one was a surprisingly nice easy formula often when you get yellows you are going to be hit with something that's a little bit less opaque or streaky but this was perfect two coats of Gidget is starting us off yeah. then we have Ono and Ono is described as a berry magenta so really nice kind of classic Zoya color I probably have this from them already or from OPI or equivalents but it's still a really nice burst of very pinky magenta -y goodness kind of matches my lips today um, and another easy it's like my lip today. you've got the same lipstick on as me maybe you can show everybody in a minute yeah um so yeah really nice easy two coats of formula just like Gidget so that one is two coats of oh no moving darker we have dogma and dogma is described as a deep plum brown full coverage cream so here is dogma and if we compare it to ono that we just spoke about you can clearly see that they are different although in kind of the similar type of family um dogma is like i say a little bit more of a plum a little more uh deeper and more rustic um two coats no surprise this one and the green when we get to it i could possibly say you could get opaque in one coat but we'll just say two for safety so two coats of dogma rider is our traditional brown and they are calling this an autumnal rustic brown this year i've been really drawn to wearing browns in this kind of early autumn so this was really down for me i really liked it i know that these sorts of brown colors aren't everyone's favorite oh you're gonna hold it now but i really really was like drawn to it i loved wearing it overall little mini hand it was really really nice so another two coater that was Ryder. Althea is our green that I mentioned earlier super super opaque almost in one coat and this is a, a dark mossy green are you gonna take it or are you gonna, you're gonna have your hand there a dark mossy green um I did really like this one it's kind of an ugly pretty camo yeah. green which is perfect for this time of year I don't feel like I have tons of this color from brands I feel like it's a little bit more unique out of the six that they're showing you here um, and I say a really 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 nice formula so that one was Althea and that was two coats here's Andy showing you her face of highlighter and lipstick have you got the same lipstick on as me yeah <laughs> And silver is our last one, and this is described as a dark teal cream with a cool undertone. Um, this one, there's probably three, which we'll wait in a minute, which are a little bit more opaque than the others. I was really drawn to this one, and I do always wear one in the video, and silver is the one that I'm wearing on my nails here to finish it up. I would say that the bluey teal does kind of get lost on your nails, and I feel that it just looks like a really really dark grey like a really really dark blue grey and you kind of lose the teal it's the, probably the most dark on the nails black or grey on your nails so no, sit down hi so I think I wrapped that one up but that was uh, two coats of silver 
So as this collection as a whole, I would say that there are three colours that I feel were a little bit more unique, and that is um, Gidget, Althea and Silver are the ones that I'm going to say on the ends really are the ones that are a little bit more unique. My favourite out of the collection is going to be Gidget, I just think it's the one that stood out the most, and my runner up would be Ryder, so these two are going to be my favourites from this collection. Overall, Sawyer have no, can do no wrong when it comes to a good solid kind of like cream collection they do these really well i love that you almost have a rainbow of colors just in the kind of fall autumnal shades some more unique than other collections that we've seen so overall it's going to be a thumbs up from me i would love to know what any of you thought from this collection which ones you picked up which ones you thought you would pass on down in the comments below uh give me a thumbs up subscribe and we you, you're doing the thumbs up too are you and we will see you in the next one Bye. bye